Got a quick question for you. If you dive a backplate and wing or a side mount harness, do you think you could completely disassemble it and put it back together and get it just right? Let's find out. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you own your own dive gear, it is imperative that you actually understand how that gear works. And I'm talking about the inner workings and outer workings of it. If you say got a back plate and wing, you need to know how to adjust it properly. You need to know how to completely unthread the harness and put it back on. If you own a regulator system, you need to know how to unscrew hoses properly, check our rings and put them back together. Now I do want to make it clear, I'm not necessarily talking about opening up a first stage and rebuilding it yourself. That's, that's left for the factory trained technicians. But it's perfectly okay to take off hoses, check a couple of rings, put it back together. You need to know how much torque and all that. Because the more you know about your equipment, the easier it is going to be for you to, say, diagnose a problem out in the field. And usually you can fix that problem yourself. You don't necessarily have to bring it into a dive shop. Well, what I want to focus on today is BCDs and a very specific style of BCD, primarily the back plate and wing or the side mount harness. And I want to talk a little bit about taking it apart, putting it together, and why it's important to you. So I've actually got a customer's side mount rig here. This is the Mares XR Pure Side Mount System. And we sold this to a customer a couple of months ago and trained him in side mount diving. And he's just been really trying to get it fine-tuned for him, getting it adjusted. And he decided the other day that he wanted to completely take his harness off and put it back together. And, and I encouraged him to do this. I, I really think it's a skill uh, that you need to learn, especially if you're diving a back plate and wing or side mount. And although he did an okay job putting it together, he got everything put back and he, he adjusted his D-rings, he left out one little piece of it. And I want to show you really quick what he did. And I want to give you a tip and trick that will help prevent this in the future both for him and for you guys. So on this particular system, it is still a back plate and wing, it's just two parts to the back plate. So instead of having a solid plate, you're going to have a shoulder plate up top here and you're going to have a lumbar plate down here at the bottom. Now on this particular one, for his left shoulder, he was able to thread his harness back through and then back up once again through the, the plate onto his wing and then it creates his left shoulder strap. But he made the mistake over here on his right shoulder he threads the harness through, but he didn't come back through this slot here. He just went up through the wing. Now, it's not really that vitally important as far as safety goes because the way this is designed, it pulls that wing over anyway, so it's going to be nice and secure and stable on him. However, he does need to fix this, and it's a pretty simple fix if you're used to it. If you're not used to it, if you'll use this tip and trick that I'm going to give you, I promise you, it'll make the job a lot easier. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get the BCD prepped and ready to work on. Um, I've already took off the uh, pouch here, the butt pouch here, uh, because I don't need it for the purpose of this. Um, I want to just kind of lay it out, get an overall general understanding of how it's laid out. I'm going to go ahead and actually take off the um, bungee strap here as well. So I'm going to take it off from the shoulder plate and from my D-rings, just like that. And I'm just going to give it an overall look just to see how it's laid out. Now, to make this job a whole lot easier, all I'm going to do is take my phone and I'm going to turn the camera on. Everybody should have a camera phone, right? And I'm going to start taking pictures. I'm going to start up here at the shoulder plate, take a picture. Take a picture through where it attaches to the wing, take a picture of where the D-rings are. I'm going to kind of make a note of where um, the D-ring is placed with the wording on the strap. I'm going to come down to the butt plate, take a picture, come over to the next D-ring and where it's threaded to the other part of the wing, and I'm just taking pictures of literally everything, just like that. Now at this point, I'm only going to be concerned with this side because this is the only side I've got to fix for the customer, um, but I still want to mark stuff, and there's two things that you can use. Since I'm going to be working with a black strap, uh, I'm just going to use a black Sharpie. If you don't have a black Sharpie, a white chalk stick actually works very well for this next part. But to make it easier for me to get everything readjusted exactly where it needs to be, I'm actually going to mark where these triglides are on the harness. So I'm just going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to start with this first D-ring here on the shoulder and I'm just going to put a little mark. And yeah, I know black's going to be hard to see on black, but it, trust me, it's there. 
I'm going to do the same thing down here on the waist strap. I'm just going to kind of mark on the waist strap where they're at. And all this does is make my job a little bit easier when I'm readjusting or reassembling it so that I make sure I get the D-rings back in the right place. Now, of course, when the customer comes to get his harness system back, he's going to readjust. We're going to make sure those D-rings are in the right place, but this just makes my job a little bit easier. So take the pictures first, mark all your D-rings, then you can actually disassemble the system and reassemble it with ease. All right, guys, so I got his BC put back together, and as you can see, he is threaded back through the slots very easily there and got it pre-adjusted for him. Now, once he comes back into the shop, we're going to readjust it just to make sure all D-rings are in place and that it fits him and he's comfortable. But that's all it takes. Your camera phone or a camera in general, just take a picture before you take something apart, and then when you're threading it back through the plates and things like that, it'll make it a lot easier if you follow along with the pictures. You can do the same thing with the video. You can have somebody video you taking it out so that you can see how it goes back. But guys, I really hope you found this video educational. I hope this tip and trick helps you in the future. If you did like this video or you found it helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up for me and definitely share it as well. If you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.